Hi everyone, welcome to another Plan With Me video. This is Elise of Plan With Elise, and today we are planning in my big happy planner for the week of November 14th through 20th, the final week before Thanksgiving spreads begin. Well, I feel like I've done some fall themed spreads, but this next week, obviously, not this week, the week after, will obviously be all Thanksgiving themed. So I have these stickers here from Jojo's Pretty Paper Shop. And this is like a bookstore or like reading nook type theme. And these are so beautiful. And they're almost like I didn't want to use them because they're so pretty. And I want it, but I wanted to use them and I needed to figure out how to use them in my planner. So we're going to kind of play around with this together. So I feel like these are best in my big happy planner because some of them are larger. Now, of course, you could use these really in any one, but I feel like for me, they make the most sense in my big because of how functional that I need everything to be. Can we just look at the detail here? The detail in JoJo's stickers is incredible. Also, this is the first full video that I'm filming since coming back from Florida, where I spoke at and attended the Sugary Gal Planner Conference. I say first full video because I did have some clips of other videos that I've done. Oh, I did the um, Caitlin Plans Advent Calendar unboxing and then something for Calva Plan as well. But this is the first video where I can like talk about it all. I got home yesterday um, and I had such a wonderful experience. It was a smaller planner conference than Go Wild, which I went to in March of this year. I think there were maybe about 250 attendees and it was really cool to have it be a little bit more intimate. There were a lot of people that I got to meet who I didn't know and like exposure to shops that I hadn't um, heard of before. And it was just like a really cool experience in the planner community. And aside from speaking, which I think went really well and I really enjoyed it, one of the best parts for me was being able to not only experience the conference with my mom, but be able to be away on vacation with my mom for a few days. So it was really special. And my favorite thing is we went and got, you may have seen this on Instagram, we got what's called permanent jewelry. So there's no clasp on this bracelet. You choose a bracelet or some people did it as an anklet, but you choose a bracelet and they zap it on. They kind of weld it on. And it's small enough that it doesn't get in the way. I don't feel like I have to take it off for videos. Like these I might take off for a video because they could get in the way. But this is so small that um, it's really special. And the two of us did it. We went to a a place like in Florida. It was like a half hour away from Orlando. Um, but it was a nail salon. But they also had the jewelry and they had... I don't know, like eyelash stuff and tattoo. It was like a whole <laughs> big kind of place, but it was really cool and special. Okay, so I put the two biggest stickers kind of here in the corners. And then I also have these stickers from Kell of a Plan. Um, these are reading stickers. They come in a small pack that I'll link and I'll find it on Heather's website, but my pack um, kind of fell apart over the last couple of years. So I just pulled out this sheet because this is the one that I want to use. And I think we're going to take reading will take you everywhere. I like that. Okay, so let's put this in over here. Now, because these are big stickers, I have to kind of make some decisions here, right? Because I know I'm going to want checklists and I know I'm going to want a box. So I think that I'm first going to take one of these green stickers. Let's see. These are probably the best green. Let's look. Because there, this green does exist in other parts of the book. I think this will be the best, the best version of green, but I also have blue stickers in case we want to do that. So I think that I'm just going to bring this up here and now that actually makes me want to read read it, it does make me want to read it makes me want to move this sticker a little bit also this is the first day being back where daylight saving has ended and i need to like figure out this whole this whole filming schedule because i probably will no longer be able to film after work. It's not a common occurrence for me anyway, 
but I'm still trying to figure out the lighting in this apartment. I don't have any overhead lighting in my office. So right now we have a ring light on this side, a ring light on this side, and then I do have, whoops, another light that I may just have to bring out when it gets dark, but we're gonna, we're gonna see because winter is going to be long and we will have a lot of days that I'm going to have to figure that out. I'm also wanting to move this. I'm a little nervous, but I think we should be okay. I'm gonna do it carefully because I think I'd rather this sticker be centered across these two boxes versus fully aligned on the left. This one is more centered. This one I didn't do a great job centering. this is now a little bit better right there this is like a little a little storybook type spread it's pretty all right and then we'll bring these checklists in here now I do have a set of scrapbook paper next to me I'm not sure if it's going to work or not but we're going to we're going to take a look this I got from Michael's so many years ago. Um, I think it's probably Recollections and there's like a bunch of travel type stickers, but as I was, not stickers, paper, but as I was flipping through it, I came across these and it's like library checkout things. And I was like, these are really cool and they kind of match a little bit. So I wonder if we're gonna take the sticker off my scissors first and I wonder if I can cut these and put them in the spread as my boxes for the week. As I'm cutting this green one, I'm like, it's a little dark. This may be one where I would need to use a white pen on it. But let's see how I feel about this. So there's that option. Or I could go a little bit lighter, which might end up my hairs all over this, which might end up being the case. You know what happens with me and my hair? I don't know if anyone else has this has ever occurred to them, but like, I feel like I lose so much hair. And sometimes, I, now I watch a lot of true, true crime stuff and I'm like, I'm gonna get like my door knocked on and someone's gonna say that my DNA matched DNA at a crime scene. And it's not gonna be that I was at the crime scene. It's gonna be that my hair was at the crime scene because my hair is everywhere. And I feel like that might, that like, it's just one of these things that might happen someday. <laughs> I hope it doesn't, but with the amount of hair that I lose, I feel like it's possible. That might sound insane. Or you might be like, yep, I agree with you completely. Okay, I feel like this looks cool. And I don't know if it'll necessarily end up being functional, but it's something that I wanted to kind of play around with and see what we could do here. All right, now I think that part of me wants to put, oh, you know what? I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna take another box. This time I'm gonna go for a blue because there are some really pretty pops of blue here, like this bright blue. I think what I'm gonna do is take one. We're gonna put this here and then do a book stack over it and that's a way to like bring in where do I do like this book stack bring in some of the decorative to the functional by having both of those I feel like that's really fun okay I'm excited this is like the point that I get excited about these spreads and then of course we will put a checklist right over here too and now let's look here. So I'd like to bring in another box. So I wanna go back to this green, this more like forest green. And I think we'll do another square. I really do like these square ones. And I like this book stack that I did up here. But I think that this time we'll do more of maybe a vertical stack. Vertical. Is there a specific word for this that I'm messing up? I feel like this is vertical because it's going tall. But I also feel like this is vertical because they're tall. I don't really know. But we can do two because this one we can put right here. And now we have two stacks of books next to each other. I know that we've got a little bit of a sun 
the sun peeking through here. Okay, let's keep going. Um, I kind of want to bring in this, like over here. Or do I put it here and then grab another quote? Like, I just want to read books. That's how I feel sometimes. <laughs> and then we bring this in. I don't, again, I don't know if this will be functional. I hope it'll be. But I also kind of just want to play around with this spread. I like that. And that kind of sets it up like it's here. Now I can put it over here as well. Okay, so I know I'll probably want to bring in a checklist somewhere else. So I'm going to put it down here. Because I have this on two days up top, I won't necessarily be able to put it on either of those days as the spread goes on. So now is when I'm going to kind of move it, move the checklists throughout the spread and it's not just going to be those three because then theoretically it should be here 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 and up here and that's not going to work so I have to change the pattern before we get to that point just kind of talking through it to help you understand my mindset with these things all right now I want to bring in this sticker we're going outside of the the order and I want to bring this in. I feel like this should have been on the bottom. No, because that's the ceiling. But this is the floor. Why am I struggling with that? We're just going to leave it where it is. <laughs> then I kind of wonder if I just move it. Nope, we're doing it. Okay, we're just, we're, we're going to leave it. Now, of course, I'm having trouble covering this up, even though this was working perfectly a second ago and reading takes us on otherwise impossible adventures. Bring that one right down there. Okay. I like this spread. It's making me happy. We're getting to the point that it's, I'm getting excited about it. Not that I wasn't excited about it before. You just never know when you start how it is going to come out. Okay. So now I feel like this would be a good place to bring in this blue box again to kind of coordinate with that one on Tuesday. And we can do, oh, I would need a smaller one here. Let's see, would I have room to be able to put this and this? No but that doesn't mean that I don't have room to put a smaller blue sticker. So I think this guy is gonna hang out right here and then we're gonna grab a smaller blue one. Mm, not perfect size wise. I don't want to rip this, but I think what I'm going to do is layer it a little bit. Because I don't know that I actually have anything on Thursday. I'll probably end up writing something down, but that's perfect to kind of layer right there. That works nicely. Okay, now I also want to make sure that I include this because I love this little reading nook with the chair and the light. I think it's so much fun. So I'm going to take this off right away. And as always with JoJo stickers, because they are cut so delicately, or they're just, they're just delicate. You'll want to be sure that you are taking them off carefully. I think like some stickers you can just grab off. Not, not always the case. And then what if we bring these kind of right down here? I feel like that works. Now we still have some space, right? And have to get some functionality back. So I can put a box over here, which I'm going to do. And then I'm probably going to want to put a checklist here. So some of these I'm going to just start to put down so I can kind of map out the spread. And I also want to bring in another one of those library cards. And then 
19th. I think this will go here and we're just not gonna have a checklist Sunday. I think that'll just end up being the situation. And it's not likely that I end up using the checklists on all of my weekend days. It usually ends up being one or the other. Unless of course it's a weekend that just ends up being busy for me. I will typically have one fun productive day in terms of plan with Elise and one it's not gonna work. <laughs> and one day that's more social. I really try to plan out my life. It doesn't always work. Um, because I'm I'm dependent on other people for those plans. You know, whether it's friends of mine or my family and what that schedule looks like or my nephew's sports schedule. Baseball is finished for the season, so the playoffs were when I was in Florida. So I miss the playoffs, but it's okay. Um, and I think they finished second for the season. So go team. i put this one here. Why does this feel bigger than that did? Oh, because I went kind of over with that one. So does this one just end up there? I think it might. Um, anyway, so I'm tr I try to plan out where it's like, okay, well, if I'm going to be up in the area where my nephew and niece and nephew live, sometimes I uh, will try to make plans with a friend wh who also happens to live up there so that, you know, I'm doing that driving one time over the weekend. Sometimes it happens multiple times, but these are just kind of the ways that I try to plan out my life. All to say, not always... I don't always have two productive weekend days. That was a long way to explain what I was trying to talk about. Sometimes I get there. Sometimes I totally forget. <laughs> totally forget about it. All right, we're going to bring this green box in. And we are going to bring this one in as well. Now, this one, I don't necessarily want to put books. Oh, wait, we have both of these next to each other. Do I need them both? Do we bring in a quote instead? It's not hoarding if it's books. <laughs> if it involves books and pajamas, count me in. I like that one. Let's take that. Okay. Now I don't know that I have a need for this sticker. I feel like I need to move things for a second and kind of take an overall look at the spread and see what's missing. I know that we have space over here. So I did take a blue box before that I knew I had some room for. So we'll put that there. And then I don't necessarily have a box here if I don't use this as a box. So I think we'll just bring in another one and not really worry about the fact that they are next to each other. This is cool. I'm, I'm intrigued by this spread. Now the left side. So the sidebar. We have some space here to kind of play around. So I'd like to bring these in. I think we'll just kind of put them right over there. And then maybe we'll do some stacks right down here. Like two different colored stacks. And then I'm going to grab from this sticker book some bullets and these will kind of be my priorities for the week so we've got one two three and let's do four okay cute all right let's stand up whoops bang into my desk make the camera shake just kidding that wasn't on my list <laughs> and kind of move this all aside it's really pretty I like it I love it actually I love it okay everything I used today except for the scrap of paper will be linked in the description of this video in addition to any discount codes that um, I may be able to share with you. So that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and I will see you next time.